Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the latest edition of the Brooklyn Rails Wednesday poetry reading series. <laughs> we have a terrific reading for you today, curated uh, by Ashley Escobar, who will be reading with Edwin Torres, Philip Marinovich, Julian Poirier, and Matt Proctor. The reading is called I only know it in fragments. And this is the 149th uh, of these weekly readings. So I guess that means next week is going to be 150 and we should have a cake or something like that. And um, we'll fax everybody a piece of cake. And this is also the uh, 892nd episode of the Blue Social Environment. So thanks you all for being here 892 times. And um, before I get into introducing our various terrific readers, I'll just say that uh, thanks again for being here. Check out the chat while the um, reading is taking place as there will be information about the Brooklyn Rail posted and um, more to the point information about the various endeavors and works and publications of our uh, today's poets, and um, my name's Andrew Marvell, and uh, it's nice to be here. I'm the poetry editor of the Brooklyn Rail, and I work on this series with Eleanor, Chloe, and Carolyn. Um, but I'm the only one who gets paid to say embarrassing things, I think. <laughs> Our first reader is going to be Edwin Torres. Edwin is a New York City native and a neolingualist. Neolingualist. Um, his books of poetry include Quinundrum, I Will Be Your Mini Angled Thing from Roof Books, which received a 2022 American Book Award. Zoetiox, which I am probably mispronouncing, the collected word, word object published by Way of Books, The Popodology of an Ambient Language from Atilos, and Edwin's also editor of the anthology The Body and Language from Counterpath Press. His multidisciplinary collaborations with a wide range of cultural nomads have contributed to the development of his body lingo poetics, and Edwin will be teaching Brain Lingo, his workshop on poetry and portals, as an adjunct this semester at Columbia University. Edwin Torres has been blowing my mind since 1996, um, which is when we met. Please welcome Edwin to the Rail Reading series. <laughs> Thank you, Anselm. Um, yes, we go quite a ways back. And Ashley, thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this reading. Um, I am, I took your fragment, um, title to heart, and I have four pieces, um, that will sort of flow into each other. And the first piece is in four parts. So as if that weren't confusing enough, I'm just throwing it all at you. So great to be here. <clears throat> A Puerto Rican story in four parts. One, the mythology of the Puerto Rican centaur is that the hybrid beast gallops across an island of their own making, thriving in asphalt kingdoms conjured of tropical depressions, generational fingertips, and clickbait oppression, but obstacle makes for porous identity. Two. When I was a new poet, bringing what was new to foreign lands, I was told I had long limbs by those for whom the hybrid beast was undefinable. I learned quickly how the undefinable was my home and began to exaggerate what made me different. My escape from the stage while on it, from the now in the now, performer as interloper. I attached clothespins to my fingers, paying through flesh pods, making what was already long a spectacle. Three, the object of myth, its own dismembering. The upper torso of the Puerto Rican centaur, adept at manual labor, is a marvel of gifted, gifted de dexterity, passed down by the Puerto Rican lower torso, where the hips tell you where you're from where a farm is never out of reach, hibado to nobado, where environment weaves habitation as eco-urban terra nova, nova for giant plantain leaves, engaged by concrete jungles aligned by non-Puerto Rican centaurs. 
The only origin source of the good Puerto Rican centaur is relived by the individual Puerto Rican centaur. It is when they spread as a gang that the bad Puerto Rican centaur loses identity. Three. When I was an emerging visualist, I had in mind one sort of art. Surprising my immediate supervisor with unexpected connection, I was told about place, to remember where mine was. Learning quickly how others defined place was how they viewed their home. The narrative in their alignment was how they saved themselves. I sought refuge in knowledge, to remember my place. Became a founding member of Los No Hay Grande Group, a collective of one, dedicated to this moment, right now. Something like this that has no surprise, no mystery, something of such simple blunt can be translated using other nations, transnation of a simple blunt, something so simply blunt as this, no surprise to the message of the blunt on poetic is a blunt to the surprise, but simply to give, give its opening, where to enter to give some serious open blunt can be other, the something so simply mysterious as other has no mystery anymore. Other has been blunted for a while now. To be other translated gives to readers something so translated. The mystery of no surprise is what appears to the other that happens. When something like this is simple, when used in whatever others, other you want, do you want, what do you want to happen to your hearing, to the something you translate, to translation to happen of what do you want to have mystery, to the something to surprise your want into something you want in the something, so simple at the end, to surprise is the meaning of blunt. I am in the appearance of the seeing through, that older sort of syllable. Have you got one? I was asked and heard not a sort, but an answer. How I wanted to repeat things so I would know they appeared me. Celebrate the rise. Of your undulating lies, celebrate the rise, celebrate the rise, celebrate your lies of your undulating lies. Mm -hmm. To landing a finding that forms what I am, water transfer, I, a body in plain sight, a planet in plain sight. Can I look at what I try to in a landing? To ending, is there an ebb and flow to echo the rhythm we look at each minute of each day is a lifetime? Are you trying to avoid a subject? Control the subject, immerse in subject, roll your life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the unsettled trying to tell me of absorption of things in front of things, of who scarred their skin to feel, who scarred the sky, solstice, my fieldstice. Look at water. What do you do to water to make it feel? Action is my look at under the sideways feel. It takes tears to know what sideways feels like. Spiral, oh, shut. Spiral, who painted your trance? Mm -hmm. Trance is a cliff carved of migratory ascension. Take your trance carved out of what you do to your water. Let go. It takes tears, dissolving eye, trance, eye, absorption is invitation. Come with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take her. I tremor. It is not the landing I dissolve, but its focus. To utter in mind its action. What do you do when inaction is action? Retalk is my look at given minutes in a lifetime is not your landing. 
permeate collision, gather shine of things in front of things in front, limbs dissolve. I, a tide, I, a water, I, omniscient proton, I, a soma, I, a people, I, a moon, made of moon on this bed. I, the subject of my life, this one, gamma nutrient, action babe, meteor savant, bellow songstress, fertile plug, kamawantra, sutric nitro, it takes years to know what to hold on to. Celebrate the rise of your undulating lives. Celebrate the rise. Mm. Look at my calendar torso. Eye a landing, ear bore made of worm, eye lenticular motion made infidel, eye a lung, last in line, acres error, psychic landing, soil a drift of glint, horizon sutra, water transfer, I the wrong way down my solo artifact, my elemental sign, I gather shine, object of capture, your object, your capture. Invocation of I. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, Edwin. Thank you so much. Our um, next reader is going to be Philip Marinovich, AKA Wolfman Librarian. Philip's a Balkan queer poet, playwright and teacher who leads the Shakespearean Motley College Poetry, Motley College Poetry Practice Group. His books include Wolfman Librarian, Zero Readership and Epic, and If You Don't Go Crazy, I'll Meet You Here Tomorrow, and The Suitcase Tree. Sometimes you can find him hanging out around the Acropolis. Please welcome Philip Marinovich uh, to the Rail Reading Series. Thank you, Anselm. Thank you, Ashley and everybody. Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah? All right. So, back in New York Times stamps, Werewolf Benjamin at Central Park, Full Moon Pisces Wednesday, August 30th, at 7.46 p.m. The lady with the leaf mask unfolding, I'm going to run with the lyrics. Garbage, Kyrie liaison damage. Look us in the eyes, they only dilate twice. Sans teacup. You remind me thick level. How far did the partisans go to find their owl, guide through the forest of mudslide manor? Where the nerve hammers hide, the bride of all accomplishment and the groom, or should we just perform it live? Right here, let's do it, no proverbs. Guys, performance please, this line, tickets out, backpacks open for inspection din, and schoolhouse mortality reversals, free, be free of fishing rods, but I know the politicians who are there. I don't know where you missed the turnoff. Labor layoff, beware. Be werewolf Benjamin and mean it, you will care, but you will be different. There's no reference, only the bare nerve and the tooth cloud wedged in the raw gum line of the scarecrow skyline there at 7.54 p.m. And there is always music in the air because I need to go there. And this is that great breakfast when the lawn is dry. That's when they open it. A water main broke under it, raw plaintiff water beard. Tomorrow I'm going to have a look at Jeff for an hour. The music <laughs> stops just south of 50 Eyed Street Bridge. Feeling loony where the full moon fishes in my head as its skull top is sawed off and the crater lakes free. Sonnet logics come to the surface for a sequence. The bat sonar ripples through the prefix Ana to show various movements to, from, away, back, upon. I don't even know if those are right. I'm just declaring my allegiance to Dr. Moten, king of the looked with life. The solar monocle burns away all white. The squirrel climbs to the Central Park spine. The bark is right to hold and peel and serve as the vertical stairs for a squirrel I hear in back of me climbing my layers. Ooh, I love that feeling, skin climbing my ladders. Ooh, I love that dragon scale mint. A galaxy on each green and nebula water bead dripping off every lion hair spear and dropping in on you to hear your progress on the clarinet scales. 
of quitting one instrument to learn another. Serpent at 8.07 p.m. The owl severs you from this world so the whole world falls open when you look at a cow, entrails and all, and eyes wide open, putting it back together for the reanimator concert won't be easy, will be impossible, don't get queasy, put on your surgical gloves and start gargling rainwater, coming in through the busted open circle of Hell's Kitchen. Have you been there? Yes. Every singing fun din we ever did in piccolo concerto form followed us. All the job interview guys will be there. Can I keep him here long enough to care? Does he get along with me almost every single occasion? Aims for the juggler. You try to hide from the blade of the American economy mudslide, and it's all like unliberated people. We the drinkers, in order to form a more buffed skeleton, now watch me feel things and reward me with publishment, bafflement, oubliet, station chief, France. Dateline, 909 BC. Well, it's such a bummer. If you don't have a full-time job, your understudy dad comes on you and you get to sob. I have a total allegiance file to steal and smuggle back with me over the Wall Street green number crawl. At 8.20 PM, when does Philip sleep? Kelson asks me. He is that part of the clipper ship I came over on, the bottom rib or spine, if you prefer, that holds it all together and aerodynamics on through the whale baleen spume froth. Philip, please send your bio ASAP pow Mia gently with a chainsaw. Werewolf Benjamin is a Yugoslavian bisexual interested in speaking from the subject position of sub and dom throughout the Milky Way Danube of mass extinction. Sob, sob, sob. Part of me becomes a dark unknown hole after sundown. You are that part. You are that part in your hair into which my nose darts to taste the future. Water breaking upstart. Kenny... That's what I call Kelson when he unnerves me, which is silly. I shally with him through lower Broadway. And yes, he is a clipper ship, but he's the one who brought me from Yugoslavia so I can have an unrecognizable subject position. Central rodent road, sexing up the shrubbery. Photosynthesis load, blown, oubliette, dairy, creamery. Flown in from Paris for a class summary. Where extinction trades places with more life for the photo op on the red eye of Jupiter, where its pupil dilation can't stop letting in the light it's losing from the gone solar polyglot. My residency at the past. It's a lemon water cigarette. I felt so infused. I mean, the speaker did. Things are not as they seem, nor are they otherwise, as the koan goes, saying it in the lion tongue. Hey, it's pretty right here. Ashbury Hollicks Anonymous. Hi, my name's John, I mean Philip, and uh, I had my first Ashbury punch in late June of 1991. My teacher, Matthew Lippman, said Ashbury is more about language, comparing him to what he called his main man O'Hara leprechaun chant. And writing in the last email, we could read around 12 minutes each. In the future, everyone will be dead for infinity minutes. Fame is simply an appetizer to this. It is fall and it is slopping all over you like a bird dog with beak all drippy with silk nog. That's why I slip on the turn for home or Heimat as it's colloquially called in all the Gen Z bangers played at the loudspeaker pile. Cross street because it's efficient. Can I read with my overnight mouth guard retainer installed? I'm 15 years true to mosaic tiles, white and brown and blue at the mouth of the Q train at Tiresias and 7th Street, and the Nokia, the journey to the underworld, begins here in the heavenly grotto water of Naples, where Blake Glasmere lives to teach visitors the Serbian word for soul, dusha, which sounds like doucher in United Statesian, but you say it anyway, dusha means soul, with an oo sound be between the D and the show, as death always prestages the show to end in triumph. It is called a rehearsal. You say you liked it better than other feedbacks for the Bardo Cougar you got when you got toe tagged and shoved into the morgue filing cabinet. And I do mean the golden cat who roars at you from the passenger seat, teaching you fearlessness in racing, not the hideous and yet empowering slang, depending on which subject position it comes from with a bang. I wish nobody ever knew they were Ashbury so I could continue to spread out like this. But pop goes the balloon and the tonsils are extracted from a kiss 
by the dentist and the urologist as they fist the twins out of you. It is called a delivery magnet, and they are not identical or fraternal or sororal, but pure aura and rescue you from walking the flora and fauna of nostalgia galaxies, where you can't be wanted anymore by people who have gone over the car key bridge, keychain red with that buffed raspberry patina of pesticides, given to keep us from famine as we bury our children in the recess yard to bear arms freely, watching the ABCs sob from the blackboard as it falls down and all of homeroom lifts off to keep the remaining kids safe in space, away from lawmakers bribed into homicide accomplice status as the ship of state applauds the coral reef carving it into a gate. Hi, my name is Bat Timestamp and I first drank an Ashbury martini while denying politics to poetry. And now I'm a wake. Everybody's birthday is for September. Tiffany is the master of the twirl. So where do you find freedom? Looking at men as naked as possible, real glossy daddy types in the fossils exit here to see penguin mosaic exquisite. Karina, brain me with the frying pan for a souffle to come to me in the rising redwood souffles of the earth and its bye-bye ways of birth, extremis and extremis. The temperature of major crosses is like barely home. That's what Peter said in the melodrama of our latter day cartwheel flames. This early in Virgo, the blaze still tanks our Monday or tamps into it to make it surprising cool despite the Northern lights boiling their greens in the heated wind socks of our air conditioning. You invite me to make out with you against the Fenway Park fence. Good friends are like collagen peptide protein powder. You don't always see them, but they secretly make you come harder. Envisioning them rather than the person on top of you is power. You invited me to kiss you indirectly. I kept talking instead to prevent my embarrassment selfishly. Look at this. This is not the gaze of a sober man. This is 2022, greet it farewell. Last year's control check was post. This is Charlie, by the way, he's a jack of air raids. Well, we have a long birthday ahead of us. Charlie Nebula and Jake the Prowler at my son's place and me, the blue nerd you met on my last birthday. Everybody's birthday is for September. Would you ever go on a date with Charlie? I would invite him with Morgan in back of Dollar Shack and the tyrants in the back. Where did he meet him, the trip? So when you're traveling, you're just overseeing? What makes you know? What frees you? What frees you? How do you slip out of boredom's cobra trap jaws, trap jar glass? The switch from naming to lit listening. The stone just popped out. The kids would have loved it. Lazarus at last. What frees you, Larry? The whole point of the car is I'm all over the place. I spent more time in the car that year than any place I was going. I don't know when I'm going to eat. I have my meaning, my meeting, my meaning. The meeting's closed until the 15th of smoke. Eight years ago, you ghosted Ross. Ross is still sober. Remember this night, guys, when you guys tricked me into snorting Tylenol at 45 Wall? We've got to be here, guys. It's real. You love real. I love being real. It's so mute. Thank you. Thanks, Philip. I feel like I've been just been brained repeatedly. <laughs> um, Julian Poirier will be reading next. Julian publishes poems through the U.S. Post Office, also known as Night Mail, and sometimes in newspapers like the New York Times and the Brooklyn Rail. He was a co-founder of the Ugly Duckling Press Collective and has taught poetry in New York and San Francisco public schools and at San Quentin State Prison. The hopes and dreams of all Californians reside on his imaginary shoulders. Please welcome Julian to the Brooklyn Rail Reading. Thank you, Anselm. Thanks, Ashley. Hi, everybody. I'm glad to be here. And it was wonderful to hear both Edwin and Philip read. Um, Philip and I are often eerily subconsciously connected 
um, in fact, always eerily subconsciously connected. And what I want to do is I'm going to try this. I'm going to try sharing my screen because I'd like I'd like to read a poem. Um, and um, the name of the poem is Ashbury Syndrome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I was thinking about this, what, what, uh, actually, now I realize that maybe this title was largely based on the fact that Ashley Escobar is the organizer of this reading and that rang off of Ashbury. Um, but I was thinking about the idea of fragments and I was thinking about, well, I was thinking that I'd like to approach the reading. Uh, I'd like to, to read I'd like to find fragments to read, but it, I, I didn't want to intentionally, I was back in the situation where I was, I didn't want to artificially create fragments. I didn't want to, or if I was going to artificially create fragments, I wanted to know why I was doing that. And I think that the reason or something I learned from Ashbury, among other people, was that if you if you put fragments in relation to each other, you create this sort of holographic ghost image in between them, which is a, a third image. Um, and that, that is the, the magnetic beauty of the fragments. Although you could have a, just a fragment by Sappho, but maybe you're doing that with a single fragment. When you have a fragment by Sappho, you're supplying a context for that fragment or some sort of dynamic that creates this other image. So the fragment in itself can be beautiful, but what you're doing is creating some other landscape. Um, and I always found Ashbury's landscape to the poems very wonderful to travel across, particularly the stuff that I got into really early on, like on Tennis Court Oath, and I think maybe Three Poems is my favorite by him. Um, so I wanted, I wanna actually um, read this poem, but I also want to, sh to have it up on the screen. So you're welcome to read along with it or just listen, whatever works. So this is called Ashbury Syndrome. The redoubtable Diana was 21 when she wrote, read my death in coffee grounds and vanished. They say a cobra took her out of town Faster than you can say, keep my shadow on my eight track home. Read it wrong. I picked up her hand claps at the flea market, eight or nine seconds to burn, and the globe turned out green apogees. I dug Joe Pesci at the Met, walked down Fifth Ave, eating a blue plum, despising no one, almost out of time. Find it and make it silver, nut-lined cosmonaut. Find what you open, speckled fur coat, pipe juice cosmonaut. Western plays on the silver peanut shell, Kennedy Space Station. Casio mixtape send drawers, find the mistletoe, find Vic Orban, find the turquoise end paper, find collateral in a crystal emergency break rope in Mohawk, the pink spring bottle brush, San Remo awning. Find the bindi, the motocross, Andromeda knife thrower test cork. What you doing? Unknowing. What are you gonna do? Counterfeit some hinge. What next? Minister of party wall. What now? Inside my head, my friend restores the puppet of a rabbi with a spoon, and I restore the puppet of a bus driver in a safe. Puppet, shred it. Puppet, stung it. Puppet, blew a bubble with tectonics. Puppet, made a metal with his chin. And do what, corduroy egg? See San Remo, play the squid. double agent of the upper face, the Duchess of Coco, the Earl of Eel, 
Blue Fruits on New Flags, White Stairs, Robert Desnos is much thicker than Carlos Singh, experiencing the brain in his 747 bone flute, be calmed brain, because hell is in your mind, spontaneous cooperation all over the tracks. Queens rocks and falafels from Queens change the maker on a burglar avec vibration. Peter with gears. Queens rocks explode. Dog stops blinking. A dog named Juliet hitting a cigarette. A dog named Gloria unto Astoria. A dog named Medai and a dog named Jalpan Belmondo, a dog getting revenge on some fondue, lightning all over Bombay, lice line up on an arrow to be shot, bitter whales and one-eyed leopard, rats in the wings, eyeless black mink, as those of John and Yoko under the knife. Mute chicken scratching it backwards, Bats packed in sugar, Superman's death rattle, Kobe Bryant's signed purple jersey. You get the picture, my pretty one. It is a pity. The damage is done. Ha ha. Nah. It has only just begun. It is only ever thus. Shit on a dune and the white lotus. I near 53 for nearly four years. Couplets from Virgin Ebony stands in whose genes perhaps even the Messiah glided down Santa Monica with a non-academic macadamia nut, but he didn't originate it. Little Richard played from the pool, Neil Hasidic melody for 39 long years. Tambourines have been turning slum lords to Fahrenheit, mellow summer of 70, Ringing blades in the womb, Kevin and I sang the fifth dimension of Tom Paine, and it took one day on the spot. The universe pasted oxygen, then confusion, but if you could laugh, there was no humiliation. All across Bombay, the voices we later knew. All through the night, all over Bombay, tapping your cup with utopian spoon, reciting with joy a fallopian rune, residing in peace on the robber street, looking to release the rain we greet, the bell we leave to ring when we leave, the song we hum with love to burn and love to the eggplant with an elegant waist fessing up now before it's too late. Sometimes I'm you, and sometimes I see, I see. That's cool too. Thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, Julian. Our next reader is going to be Matt Proctor. Matt is the host of Easy Paradise Open Mic every Monday night at the KGB Red Room in the East Village. His poetry reality show, Scenes from a Life, airs Mondays at 11 p.m. on Manhattan Public Access Television and anytime on YouTube. Please welcome Matt to the reading. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you so much for having me, Ashley. Thank you for the invitation and thank you for the Brooklyn Rail. I'm just going to read from my Cosmopolitan Micro Diaries. Can you hear me? 831, Catcher in the Rye. Summer is June, July, August. Fall is September, October, November. Night of the blue supermoon. Set your intentions. School starts tomorrow. I spent a lot of time uptown in the park. It was like it didn't happen. Night swimming with Philip. Really love your beaches, want to shake your trees. 
get me a suite of rooms, 2,500 a week, a new shirt every time I wear it. People will walk all over you or you'll just hold still learning for adulthood, but it's always too late. Finding lyric sheets on the ground. Strangers keep me company. His cigarette smells like my grandpa's pipe tobacco, which reminds me of Carl Sandburg. The people, yes, that's open mic. Phone running out of battery, sitting right across from me, eating Magnolia Bakery or frozen yogurt, making 40 grand a year in my MFA where I'm paid for it, golf clubbed and bayoneted to death. Yorkville went berserk after that. My love and storage, I'll stay here till they kick me out. My feet feels like it's wet, dropping the kids off at the pool, whole place to myself. Need to get the word out. Wait till I think of five things. Ruin these people's lives just because I moved into their houses. Essex, Hudson, Somerset, attempting to land the plane by 1 a.m. I wish I had money to travel or do anything. Got kicked out of Rushmore. Painting badly looked at trees. Max Fisher would be on Twitch. Shipping myself into gigs, sending my body airmail via submersible trains, barreling into the metropolis by sword of mouth. This weed makes me cry. I go in the side door, welcoming security. Three permissions rather make one, but who will I read it to? 8-5, unisex. Pack a bowl. Ashley washed her bangs. Phillips saw Weezer at Central Park Summer Stage sometime around the release of the Blue Album. Pitchfork was so wrong. Every Weezer album should be on Pin Sound. I give it a 10. It's about information, Marty. Amusement parks of super wealth, everywhere becoming the same place. Noah was there when they did the interview. Eddie likes his queer epic, addicted to music, earbuds in all the way. Richard Dutton, Shakespeare professor, gives me a C plus on my paper. They didn't tag me in any of the photos, like a blanket on my life. Heard Saroyan for Yosarian. The ball is always in play. Annalisa used to live downstairs. Then she showed up in my restaurant in Midtown. Forest Plaza emptying the loneliness. Out to get me, gunning for me. She sat next to me without moving. My leg touching her bag the whole time. 9-2. Cash only. The six, seven, eight plan is shallow and superficial. Brushing my teeth with my finger. Guess I better make nine figures. Computerized announcer has a cold. One of the longest transfers in the system. Turning Ben Callahan into Gertrude Stein Salon Pronto. Freudian eruptions. Funny Proust. Funny Kafka. Babysitting the crowd. Rents due tomorrow. We're probably related. The bed bugs are drinking my blood, two on a match, wearing a ping hat. Salesperson at Flying Solo tells me she loves my style. Thanks. It's the drugs. My mom bought me these clothes. I wear sunglasses because I'm crying. What I do, I do for a living. St. Mark's Church, she's my Rushmore, Max. I know. She was mine, too. 825. Is life real? The astronauts could take one tape with them to space. Most of them chose country and Western music. We need a new solution, one which cybernetics can provide. The firm brain for the unforeseeable future. No future is foreseeable for diplomatic reasons. My tooth hurts. My dad's brother. My dad's dad his dad's dad, all his brothers, all were house painters, painting walls and ceilings, minimalist white, three hours a day, smoking weed, taking lunch, painting the Sistine Chapel ceiling white, laying on their back on a scaffold, switched on proc, looking for a dime, praying for the inevitable Eno Weezer collaboration in heaven. 816 Hormone Garage. Babysitting adults, corporate people, myopic Imperial Rashomon cameras, making the journey to KGB to hang flyers and Jada's open mic. I'll be in the house on my day off. Listening to Weezer has made my orgasms even better. You are sacred to me. Metronomes, inner ear monitors, getting in state. 
Jason Schwartzman and Wes Anderson bonded over Pinkerton on the set of Rushmore. That's the most fucked up thing I've ever heard. 817, Ecce Homo. Dry cleaning bill, proof of adult, Supermax USA. This thing is not working. She gave me a BJ with a golf pencil. These are her dogs. The winds are in full sail, becoming unison. I want that down here. Power grab, cash grab, grab ass. We're almost there, but not quite. Coming pre-fragmented, that meaning should be titled meaning. The Weezer effect. When a song comes out and everybody thinks it sucks for 15 years, but later realize collectively it was a masterpiece the whole time. Potsers making the Green Day video, screaming, screaming over the backing track when I should have been lip syncing. Nikki Foley had a copy of the tape, large spectacle theater, booking and arranging flanks of artists in Mr. Show's class before the camcorder, writing speculative fiction about theater people. Quick nine at pop-up putting green on Avenue A. Paul Stewart is a good menswear brand, Ingrid tells me. Her mom plays bagpipes and may come to the open mic with them. Eight twelve, big and greedy. Ashley's roommate was shot at four times on the way home. First thing, Ashley's birthday, just after midnight. Luckily, she was unharmed. Big and greedy, Scotty Pippen to Larry Bird. Nice to me because she thinks I'm a professor at Columbia, which I kind of am. $30 for two eights and a pre-roll. $8 for suave new camel hair coat from Mission on Upper West Side. First new blazer since open mic started. Fits well. I'm carrying it in a paper bag. Smittick and Sons. Goober Grape had peanut butter and jelly in the same jar. The Upanishads of walking around doing nothing, which I should have had for myself. But how could I stop you? Women who love me don't care about my boundaries. This is not a bit. Didn't get into summer camp. I was awake, but I was asleep. Wandering through nature in Central Park like Tony Bennett, reading a book, getting high by the Alice statue. Guess who's moving back to New York? That's what I'm afraid of. Mom will be so pleased. Lantern bugs unfurling red scrolls on my stomach and sidewalk. It's a paid gig. Can't afford to say no. Where we shot our album cover, which is what people always say about bad pictures. My future's in my past. Short attention span theater. Gulping Mariana's trench for her birthday. I give her me as a present all week. Staring at me while I sleep. There's a mouse by my feet. Graduating from Harvard. Summa cum laude. Come harder, eminent domain, proprioceptive hovercraft, sloppy, ugly work, la Donnie mobile, never giving back, afraid to let anything go, including credit card transaction fee, a percentage the banks and credit card companies tacked on, watching Malinoche and Dangerous Game, watching people play tennis, multitudes of courts with weightless, JFK Jr., go Andy Roddick, and the New York City blackout of 2003, when TRL broadcast live every day from Times Square, the Spanish police commissioner riding by on a pedicab eric adams lives in new jersey sitting on this green bench in central park in my new camel hair blazer is the poem i want to write he saw it again for the first time 40 short years later lying on a floaty trl hosted by carson daly if i hadn't been rudely interrupted scarfing cornish hen on the corner of second avenue and 62nd street the open mics canceled so they gave me my money back and then I just have a couple more short pieces. 811, down and out in high school. <laughs> yeah, sorry for all the Weezer references. It's been a Weezer kind of summer. So down and out in high school. Ashley puked, choking on my dick. We changed the sheets and I came on her tits. Happy birthday, Ashley. I need a new everything. Obama lived on this street. So did Robert Duvall and Dustin Hoffman. Now it's us receiving direct transmissions, but it's not my house. Jim Burley used a dog set for Eileen Miles as we could break into the building. Gives Ashley the blue album on vinyl and John Wiener's selected poems for her birthday. We watch Dangerous Game and Malanoche. Harvey Keitel is charismatic in a deranged way, honing in on the psychotic zone of Bad Lieutenant. His Raphaelite bob and split nose give the film a renaissance feel, like he's wearing the mask of Red Death as they torture Madonna with a knife. I drop my phone, causing it to overheat. 
Brooklyn Poets Hate Me, taping Mon Onk off Turner Classic Movies at 2 a.m. Friday night when they showed foreign films, Fassbender, Berlin, Alexander Plotz, Chantel Ackerman, Golden 80s, writings on film. I often wax poetic about music. My grandpa Jacques Tati in a gentle choreography of automobiles banned from the island after congestion pricing. And this will be my last one. Thank you again for having me. Uh, come out to Easy Paradise Open Mic Monday at KGB Bar. Uh, 813 Shortcut. Walking to town, lowering the bar, a has-been. Anything could happen by the clean is the song that plays when you die as the end credits roll over your life. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Our final reader today is also the curator of the reading today, Ashley D. Escobar. Ashley's a fiction MFA candidate at Columbia University and the author of a debut poetry chapbook called Sometimes from Invisible Hand Press. She co-edits Wind Up Mice, co-edits Wind Up Mice Literary and Art Journal and publishes a quarterly zine called We Are in the Shop. She also makes experimental short films and her work can be found in Hobart, the London Magazine, Expat Press and elsewhere. Please welcome Ashley Escobar. Hi, can everyone hear me? Um, thanks Anselm for having me and thanks everyone for coming out and reading. Um, you guys were all really amazing. So I'm gonna start with Ms. on Sen. I'm deadpan delivery to your front door. We'll kick soccer balls against the house and talk about God. I hate being a figment of the internet. I stole all the pretzels from the party mix, but eat nothing but a folded Benlin's napkin sensibility. I'm writing a mumblecore film and a giraffe will play the lead. We shook hands and scrolled past the food, then checked Twitter for the daily news. I misunderstood your gluten intolerance. I dropped a selfie for the algorithm between the protest info and mutual aid. Is my Brandy Melville insured? I met a girl from Indiana who walks but can't divine any meaning. I wash my face in an unguarded puddle. I drink shots for breakfast, but Whole Foods is more than 11 blocks away. Outside the window, I see my friends sleeping across Europe. I fed you a match, but you wouldn't take it. Jazz is cheaper than water these days. We listen to last year's songs in today's clothes. The mason jar exploded, but you can't see the coffee stain. Let's talk to seagulls and commit to the bit. I do this, I do that. I steal saltine crackers for lunch tomorrow. I document my milieu, but I don't want a digital cowboy boot print. Who cares about slashes when you've got commas? I am running away on the night train to Hudson. I see false cities and the mountaintops flickering for reason. I only brought an umbrella and it brought despair. I got so good at hide and seek, but no one wants to play. The kid next to me hands over an olive chocolate almond. It's sticky and wet. It must be Easter. I collect people. Monologues are cringe. My teeth shift at night. I answered a civic prayer in my sleep. I was groomed to be a rock star, but I caught a dizzying disease and hitchhiked cross country against my friend's ill-advised wills. I'm fighting fascists from my platform bed. Sometimes I need noise, although I get tired of everyone's voice. I was asked if I had a crush on a guy or was just a junkie, neither. I forgot that Joan Volmer died when William Burroughs shot her. I thought he just shot her. My life changed the day I learned Burroughs became a writer after killing her. Then I became a writer and stopped thinking about guns. No one wants to loiter with me. I'll be friend the no idling sign. I shouldn't have turned on the jazz record. I screened my film next to the gummy sour frogs. My walking song came on while I was standing. The cashier thinks my life was stolen, but it was only memory and a $2 bill. Um, next is Post Algonquin. We are in the shop. The perfect functional beverage should have zero sugar or sugar alternatives. I am a sweetener stuck in perpetual genesis. 
I don't have ideas. I just have words. Cherry Blossom LaCroix tastes like a cherry cordial. Chocolates are for breakfast, but I don't eat breakfast out of contempt. Is noise dad rock? At least that's what Thurston asks me. I'd rather play guitar than write. I want to paint layers and layers of noise, celestial sound. Whatever happened to Weldon Keys? I'm a post beat it girl. I drive Weldon's Plymouth Savoy into a lighthouse. I either create or curate chaos. I'm a speed walker, fast talker, soul stalker. The eyes I employ, the eyes I destroy, dissect, control. I'm laboring under a misconception that everything is cringe. What isn't cringe? I'll speak in hieroglyphics. I'll be prolific after I get the decrepit cat to play piano. We are in the shop is our mantra. It's okay to be perfectly disgraceful. I'm perfect. Are you perfect? Walking in New York is like scrolling the internet. Woody's right about decay. Random rules. Our neighbor tore down identical houses. I scrubbed the bottom of the pool with gelatin and ginger ale. I vomited up a prophecy in a dive bar, inhaling hot dogs. I quit smoking for the 112th time and lost my liquor license to the tambourine player who found ambition in a tropical fish tank I broke when I wasn't high. I was waving a hand at an orange tree, eating slugs in your backyard. I divorced myself from eight balls and biblical names. I was told I was too young by a man who wouldn't let me see his eyes. People have lives. What can I do about it? Interior. In this house, we are served by rabbits. We walk side by side in the narrow carpeted hallway. Never mind the wine stain. It breathes on its own. I live on angel time. We smile twice a day, three times if it's quiet enough, quick enough. My smile is infectious enough to pass through a walkie talkie. I spent my first day of summer in bed with my phrase collector husband, a hand above my head. I feed him a single confetti cookie if he is being good. He's no dog. There are no alfalfa sprouts in his house. There are no adults in my living room. In this house, I'm sipping Sauvignon Blanc with Romer, waiting for my turn on the casting couch. I've told every little star that I don't want my ennui in black and white. I have achieved a new strain of calmness, but I don't know how to embrace it. In this house, an airplane flies over every five minutes. We have no clue where they land. Pleasant Street. We ate dinner at 5 p.m. and traded snowflake blisters. Mine looked like a triceratops. Threw nickels by the limestone quarry at Budweiser's on the rails. Talked about old dogs and the way they bite, slowly hesitant, then all blood, lost remorse. I crushed luckies on wailing grass, licked the ice, tasted chlorinated, saw a lion on the face of a trash can and a baby on a pinwheel, looked for a job at the bowling alley, found a flood at the bottom of a single, sh single saddle shoe. This one is called I Dream in Bisquick. I have a habit of never stirring my oat milk. I smoke Lucky's out the bathroom window. Why else would there be a wooden chair in the corner? Maybe the mailbox is the only place for this letter to exist. Sometimes my life is just being mad at someone's younger sister and that's about it. The toddler doesn't have a younger sister. The toddler stabbed the cat with lefty scissors. The toddler is right-handed. I jump in my sleep. I dream of eating Bisquick at a wide tie catered party. I wore heart-shaped sandals to class and I had to change. Heart-shaped sandals clash with brown corduroys. I'm an amateur tennis player crossing to Canada. Someone tells me I can't be precocious as an adult, but my preferred method of exercise is jumping jacks. Can I feed the toddler Bisquick? Is he going through a fish stick phase? I take the toddler to the squid and whale diorama. I pass by Noah Bombeck's house. I've never seen a sperm whale. I wonder what whale milk tastes like. They didn't, the Bisquick at the party is mixed with water. They didn't have any milk. I asked for oat milk. I like the texture of lumps of pancake batter down my throat. The toddler asks for waffles on the way to the museum. I want to do cartwheels to Bowie's modern love for all of Brooklyn to see and scrunched up ladies tennis socks. The giant squid is prey to the sperm whale. I am both predator and prey. 
Sperm whales still bear scars. Salinger touched teenage girls. Can I feed the toddler bisquick? We microwave fish sticks when we return. Sperm whales use suction instead of teeth. More sucking, less teeth. We vacuum the cat hair off the blue rug. The toddler arranges my funeral. The toddler asks to be the flower boy. I insist on ceremony. His dad complains he's broke. I have a habit of never reading the New York Times book review. I leave the trash can on fire. This one is called morning bath. Sometimes I remove my glasses so that I can't see farther than your face. I grasp at my neck as a reflex, but the long lock of your hair hasn't made its way here yet. Reading Ashbury out loud in the lobby of the Met, I feel like a kid again, pulling weeds without consequence. I litter them all over your striped shirt. Sometimes I fear you'll leave while I'm in the shower, but you're still rolling another joint. I want to travel in the back pocket of your blue jeans until childhood finds a new name. There are no new tears, only me and an extended release lavender bath bomb. I'll cry until all of the water drifts down the drain. I swear I saw my ex. I'm mentally 16. The clientele plays the chapel where I would have danced at senior prom if I had gone. I don't bother ordering a drink from the bar. It's too dark for someone to buy me one. I no longer know the person who showed me the song on stage about a silver ring and the flood of my heart. All soft focus. He called it a wonder. I was a whirlwind. If being twee is a disease, then I don't want treatment. I want petals. <laughs> And then I have a few more. Um, this one is called Anyway. Today and tomorrow's bliss. Loneliness is watching trees. Our time, a window, looking out onto an empty street. Winter stretched its arms open. We hid until the blueness caught us. Gravitate towards distance, silence, sit and stare. February nearly killed you. Dawn is no longer mine. Our repentance holds what we keep unsaid. Our dreams stay pure. Owls are no longer strangers. Nightfall reflects in your eyes. Everything here is slowly turning, patient in the rain. And the trees stand like people, and the people will stand like trees. This one is called Designated Passenger Princess. I have a tepid affair with California. Everything sounds cooler taken out of context. The progress of love does not feel triumphant. I left my heart alongside the devil and Daniel Johnston driving to an anagram for nowhere to buy a strawberry smoothie named after a celebrity. I used to have an elephant too. I skipped my dad's remarriage to watch Godard's contempt and sneak into a Weezer show. Is Weezer avant-garde? I pulled the glass to release the imaginary fish. I was born again on the party bus to Chuck E. Cheese and a bright pink wig when all I had were quarters for the jukebox and an intuition that you were me. We're back for season two, but my carrier pigeon is in Rome. And this one is my last poem. It's called Tripping Down the West Coast. I met a guy who lived in Mexico City, said it had more comings and goings than New York. I believed him because he was the kind of stranger that I ran into every now and then without any contact otherwise. I was searching for flames in a paper dollhouse. We only congregate outside bars over cigarettes or someone's leftover joint until nine months pass by and we recognize each other's reflection under a dim street lamp after hours. I was hoping he'd help me find a match, but he drifted around the corner before I could ask. I kept picturing how my window must look when evening comes unannounced. Your silhouette crouched behind a sheer curtain in a now empty room. Summer used to feel like an eternity. Another kid came into view. I know him, he's in a band called Now and lives in a world where it is always burning new. It all boils down to the abortion by Richard Brodigan. 
except you work at a cabaret instead of a library. This is our historical romance circa 2023. If you were here, you'd be a hero in Berkeley. He asked me how community college was in paradise. I told him I memorized the city block as a child, but we've since grown estranged. His lighter gave out. I got up and walked somewhere closed. Thank you. Thanks so much, Ashley, and thanks for putting this together. And thanks everybody for uh, being here. And Julian and Philip, Edwin and Matt, thanks. This was Ashley and the fellas giving a reading. Now we can uh, throw the mics open and let everybody say hello and then head off into the rest of the day. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So wonderful. Thank you, Matt. Beautiful. Thank you for having me. Thank you, everyone. This is amazing. Thank you, Ansem.